Marty here with GuitarJams.com. Gonna break this solo down for you. Just want to let you know I have two DVD sets that cover uh, most of the techniques and scale shapes in this lesson. And that will be my intermediate set and also my solo technique set. I'm gonna leave links down there. You can check them out. All right, let's learn the first part of this solo. So we're using the C major scale. And the easiest way to think of that would be this pentatonic first position shape right here, but with the C note as the root. So we have the eighth fret on the E string. We can put our pinky there, and then we're gonna kind of be in this pentatonic. And it's, it, it's extension, so that's what we're using. Plus we're tuned down a half step to E flat, and Guns N' Roses does that on uh, every song they do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start playing the solo. We're going to play uh, our ring finger on the 8th fret of the B string. And we're going to bend that up a whole step. And after it's bent, we pick it and let it come back down. Then we do it a second bend. So then the next thing is we're adding our pinky to the 8th fret of the high E right there. So watch. Let it come down natural and bend it back up again. And that time you bend it up, down, up, and you hear it the whole time. So here's everything we have so far. Three, four. That's it. All just really based off of the bend. And so there's one little come down, that bend down, I just kind of take my finger off to kind of mute the, the note. Watch. See that? And then into that. Everything again. Then we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're, we're still bent and we, we pick it, come down, and back up. Same thing again that we kind of did earlier. Then we're going to do our index finger onto the fifth fret of the B and we're going to do a half step bend, which would sound like this, but we're doing it with a bend. Okay, here's everything we have so far really slow. So then we just go to, it's the root, and it's the eighth fret of the high E. Slash doesn't use his pinky too much. He might just go right to his ring finger. Now we just do that B string half step bend, but two. Okay, everything we have so far. All right, one more time, a little bit slower. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to just right in this little pentatonic shape, we're doing the 7th um, fret on the G pulled off to the 5th, and then back to the ring picked and slide up whole step. Eighth fret on the B after that. 
once my ring finger's on the ninth of the G, I pick and slide immediately. So watch. Fifth fret on the G after that. Right back into uh, the original bend from the first part of the solo. And real quick, just to let you know, I mean, obviously he's a Les Paul guy, but I find that you can get at least a, you know, I don't, I'm not playing through a Marshall right now, but you can, um, you know, use this front pickup here and maybe even turn your tone down a little bit with some nice gain and you kind of get what's called that woman tone or that kind of the tone a little bit on that song. I know I'm not sounding exactly like it, but just a little thing. Okay, here it is from the top again, everything we got. Right into this bend again. Same exact thing. But when we get to that, we, we do a bend and then pinky on the on the eighth. Oops, sorry. Index on the eighth fret. And so that now we're we're the uh, tenth fret on the high E whole step bend, but with a bend. And I love this next little lick. You can use that as a blues lick all day and night. It's combining the major and the minor pentatonic there for just a second. Watch. So we're doing um, 8, 10, 8, hammer on, pull off. You can pick it. Uh, to the 10 on the B. Then to the eight on the high E. Then he's gonna go to the eleventh fret B bend, whole step up. Let's try it all from the top. And we'll end it right there till the next part, and I'll definitely do the next part. Mm -hmm.